Hi guys, this is Haynes bringing you my render settings for Sony Vegas. Uh, a couple people have recommended it, uh, recommend that I do it uh, because they want to know what I use for commentaries, what I use for episodes, montages, stuff like that. So, let me get Sony Vegas for you. Uh, while this is opening, I just want to say. Uh, I've been getting a lot of good feedback from my channel. People have been uh, liking the new uh, content I'm bringing out, like the up, like every two days content, like the amount. Um, I'm still gonna continue doing that, but at the like the end of July, I'm going on a uh, holiday, so that will be the part that I'm inactive for. So I'm gonna try and bring as much content uh, as I can before uh, I go away. So, but I'll I'll notify all of you before that. Don't worry about that. But while this loads, it's taking forever for some unknown reason. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, just change it for good sake. Always pops up color screen. Like, I care what the color is. There we go. Changing the colour of the bottom. Pops up a lot, I don't know why, but yep. Anyway. Oh if any of you haven't seen my episode three that I've just released, please go and watch it. Maybe like even. Um and comment what you think of it. I need comments so I can improve obviously. Uh so right, here we go. So when you have your Vegas open you have either Sony Vegas Pro 8, 9, 10 or 11. I have Sony Vegas Pro 11 as you can see. Uh, there's ways of getting it. I can't actually tell you. Uh, just search on YouTube. Yeah, it's just a big uh, There's ways of searching on YouTube. So, oh, this is this was my episode that I made. So I'm just going to make a new one. Right, so these are my settings here for a new project so if you want to copy them down so I've got a custom made one the width so here is all the templates so it's based around uh, this one here HDV 720 by 30p so if you want to click that one just to start off with but you're making your own custom one I should actually name it my YouTube template save it right so so for the video you want it 1280 so 1280 and then by 720 for the height field order none aspect the pixel aspect ratio is a thousand um, frame rate now this depends if you're what you're doing if you are doing a commentary or montage or like anything that requires a lot of editing, so commentary would be 29.970 frames per second, frame rate, sorry. And because you don't need to have it running too fast, because YouTube only allows 30 frames per second anyway. So uh, while you're editing, you can have it on 59.9 rate, uh, frame rate. Uh, for like uh, like montage editing and stuff that's what I've done for my episode down down the bottom as you can see um, so yeah and so you want to have it on, on depending on what you have just like depending on what you do just choose the correct one so commentaries is that or so I'm leaving it on this because I'm doing the commentary um, stereoscopic 3d mode this is left off I had it on for an edit uh, editing thing that I was doing. Just you want to leave that off. It, I was just editing something. That's why I put it on. You want to have this on 8-bit pixel format. Full resolution is obviously best. Motion blur. You want it on Gujon. Nothing else. And then deinterlace. Uh, deinterlace method. You want it on man. And then you want to start all new projects. So I'll press OK. So use like just. Oh wait, let's go to the audio. So the audio is the mask. Like basically, just copy this. Don't really have anything different to this. 
um, ruler, summary, audio, no, you don't really know anything. So yeah, that's about it actually, just leave it as default, the audio. Right, so, okay. Right, this is my new thing. Right, now, let me import a clipping. Right, let's just, um, I'll just up import clip. Um, yeah, let's just do that one. Come on. Right. Um, right, so here's a clip that I recorded. Um, can't remember why I left it there. I don't know if someone hit a kill cam or something. Oh no, I've got a no scope clip marker, that was it. Right, okay, while that's loading, while the peaks are loading. Right. So, this, as you can see, is Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. Now, this will be edited for. Um, like the no scope that I got the hit marker through the plane. Um, so for that, to make sure the settings are correct, so I'm not doing this ain't the commentary gameplay, so you have to change the settings a bit. But for commentary gameplay, I'll tell you what settings you need. So let me go into here. So this is all this is the same as what I just done earlier. So what, what you saw at the start, so I'll just leave that. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Oops. Stupid me. Back on. There we go. Right. Sorry about that. Just mucked up a bit. Right. So. So this is how it will look. This is how your screen should look. It should be this big. I've just dragged. I dragged this over. Over. Um. So I can get a bigger size screen. So. Right, let's go to the render settings. So if you render, if say if you finish a clip, editing it and all that, make sure you double click, yeah. And say if you've got all different parts, you're like, like say if you split it there, split it there. Make sure you have this yellow marker in all of it, right? So them two yellow markers are in both, like covering the whole clip, right? Then you go file, render as. It's gonna load. Right now, I have a different. Yours may look different because you might have a different one. Don't panic. It's still the same. So you may have the custom templates like coming down here. Mine is there. That, that's my template here. I will show you what it looks like. So look. Here we go. Look. So these are the templates you already get given. Right. So if you can, if you click the 720 by 30p. Yeah, because we're going to modify that. So if you click that to use, and we'll go to right. So audio you want, like you want this for audio. So you want include all, include audio. Uh, you want mode to be CBR format, Windows Media audio. Attributes you can leave it as what I have. Video. You got you want Windows Media Video Nine, depending because there's yeah it will, it will be windows it depends what wi uh, windows media video player you have you want image size to be high definition 1280 by 720 you want the frame rate to frame rate to be 29.9 .9, cuz you're rendering now you're not um you're not using it you want the second per keyframe to be 5 you want the override default compression buffer to be 3 seconds uh and the video smoothness to be a hundred, so obviously you can tell. Right, bit rate. You can just. I think yours, yours should be about the same as mine, because I use the default one. So, so. Yep, and then nothing for the index or summary, and then project. So. There we go. Um, depending on what you're doing. So if it's a. Uh, like a gameplay not if it's a picture you have to find like the JPEG sort of ones which are if I can find it um, is it this one? No. oh it's somewhere here anyway <laughs> I can't even find it 
that's really good isn't it right so right it's, you'll find it it's just because this is i've just got this uh new sony vegas 11 which is a lot different to sony vegas 10 but you still have the same principles so if you have this if you have sony vegas pro 11 make sure you tick the render loop region only and then click render make sure you save it to where you want it to go so say if i want it to go to desktop and then you just press save um yeah so then you click render once you're done and then it will it will uh so if i click render it will do this and you have to wait for it to finish rendering so this has been Haynes. i hope you have enjoyed this render settings please comment maybe even like subscribe um and i'll see you later guys